Okay, on to the next skip the line reaction, man. And we have got Loic Notier Mudblood. Never heard of Mudblood. Obviously, I have um, reacted to this artist before. He's absolutely fantastic. Speaking of reacting to this artist before, let me put a copyright watermark on there because I know for a fact, I mean, his videos tend to um, always get um, claimed because of the video itself. So let's just make sure that we... we don't uh, get affected by that, hopefully. Um, this one is a skip a line reaction from Michael Rater, so I appreciate that. This song is in English. This is actually the message that uh, Michael Rater put through as well. This song is in English, but some parts of it are a bit hard to understand. So here are the lyrics, um, just in case. Okay, perfect. So let me just open up these lyrics here on this uh, left side of the screen. And let's get straight into it, man. Loic Notier, Mad Blood. Let's go. This boy can dance as well, though, huh? Hey? We got demons, demons stuck inside our blood. Yeah, we got drugs inside our heart. Yeah, we is the man to be free. We got demons. Demons stuck inside our blood Yeah, we got drugs inside our heart Yeah, we is the man to be free We're gonna lose mama Because we choose mama Say that we are the best Cause we look just like the rest Mama, we hey. want that crown Mama, and we want it now Mama, be the selfish kings of the worthless sand But that's why we're insane We think we're too This boy is a tip-top artist, man. Not only is he a tip-top artist, he's a tip-top um, dancer as well. Obviously, you can actually see that this is the battle between um, um, uh, the demons and the, like, the good side and the bad side of you, essentially, where it's always consistently battling each other, right? One of the, like Only one can carry the crown, but they're always trying to switch the crown, essentially, because sometimes one will go this way and the other one will go that way, and you'll follow each direction. So... Um, you can actually just see that the lyrics are actually quite simple. I mean, obviously they layered onto like an electro poppy type beat. Uh, we got demons, demons stuck in, in our blood. We got drugs inside our heart. We have to eat mud to be free. Con yep, hundred percent. That is what we have to do. We, you know, you, we, we've got to, we've got to take a lot of shit to be free. Yes. Uh, we got demons, uh, demons stuck inside our blood. Yeah. We got drugs inside our heart. Right, that's obviously drugs inside our heart. Is basically not saying that there's actual drugs inside our heart, but there's something that that uh, powers you up. So it gives you this this feeling. So the passion, passion as a drug, comes from within our heart, and that's what drives us. Uh, we're gonna lose mama because we choose mama to say that we're the best, where we look just like the rest, mama. We just say so it's basically saying it's like yeah, we might be me mediocre, but there's a lot needs to go into you know becoming someone great because you always have to battle these demons right it's not as simple as you know just uh, uh following your good side because that 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 uh dark side comes out a lot and a lot of the times that dark side comes out in us is the side that we really like the side that's very intriguing right it's usually the, that apple is the one we want to eat from that tree do you know what i mean um because that's how that's how darkness and evil presents itself um that's why we are insane to take mud to escape because life's hard to take 100 percent. i love that i love the struggle between i've always loved i've always loved songs that sort of depict the struggle between good and bad within us right fighting our own demons with our good right i like that yep demons stuck inside our blood yep we got drugs inside our heart yep we is the man to be free it's all about hey I 
like the representation of the actual mirror where he's actually not actually touching him because how would you sort of see those kind of things you, you can only see it by looking at yourself and introspecting at yourself right so that mirror tends to represent that okay so it's like the moment he tries to fight it what's going on here hello sorry the moment he tries to fight it um the the, the actual demonic side actually tries to control him um and sometimes that's what happens sometimes our demons do take advantage take, do take the 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 wheel and are actually able to control us um and they can come in many forms man drug addiction and things like that i mean that's a demon it's a demon i've never really understood although i can uh, i you know i add i do sympathize my, you know i do sympathize with people that go down that route but it's something i've never understood with regards to um sort of being controlled by you know something that's not sentient i mean i understand being controlled by something that is sentient something that can actually manipulate you to 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 um um you know to conforming or you know someone that is, someone can manipulate you and control you but like i've never understood the idea of being controlled by something that's not sentient like you being controlled by a powder you know by by a, a liquid you know what i mean it's, it's like i understand i understand addiction i understand and why people do it when they go down those alleys, it's very difficult and that kind of thing. But I'm saying if you actually just look at it and you actually think about it, right? Some, some people might not. Just think about it. Like next time that you've got that lined up on a table, it's like, you're going to let this powder control you? This thing's not even sent in. This thing can't even manipulate you in any way. It can't even speak to you. I mean, how can you give up control to something that's not even sentient? I don't know. I don't know. Again, not to uh, um, diminish or, or, or to, to um, sort of make less of um, addiction. I know it's something difficult, that struggle. It's just something I thought about. It's something that's, you know, it's just a thought thing in my own head, right? That, that's what I, that's what, what, what I do. Look, I've never taken drugs. But that's, for me, that's the kind of thing is that I, I, I won't let something like that control me. You know what I mean? You, you, you have no brain. You're not sentient. You're not living. You, you have no power over me. That's how I see it. But it's not how everybody sees it. So obviously, um, you know, I can only speak for myself. Let's go. It's crazy how that battle's always harder, right? The, the, like the, the, the evil side of you wins so easily, right? All of the time. But the good side of you, to conquer the evil, that battle is the most ridiculous battle ever, right? For the bad side of you to take over like this. Yep, cool, done. <laughs> I'm holding the steering wheel now. Good, let's go do some stupid shit. You know what I mean? But then the good side of you to actually fight that evil side, good lord, it's not as it's not as quick as a click of a finger. That's like an absolute battle. You know what I mean? We're muddy toes, we're muddy toes, we're muddy toes, we have mud blood, we take all kinds of That's why we're insane. But I guess that's what gives it value, essentially. Things things that are hard actually give give your life more value because it's harder to fight off the demons because it's harder right to do the right thing that's why the right thing is valuable you know what i mean because or else there would be no value to it if you could get a six pack without having to work out you would never appreciate your six pack there would be no value to a six pack 
what gives the six pack so much value, what gives you that feeling of euphoria and that feeling that of, of, of pride is the fact that you work down. If you're sitting, standing on a beach and you've got this ripped six pack that you can grate cheese on, right? You get that sense of pride as like, people look at that and be like, damn man, he worked hard on that, man. That thing is hard to attain and that's what gives it value. That's why, I actually just thought about it now, that's why um, the good fight is far more difficult because of its value, right? And that's why the dark side, the demonic activities that you do are far easier but have no value. Okay, carry on. We take my two Yes, breakthrough, breakthrough that glass ceiling. Well, it's not a ceiling, but breakthrough it anyway. Good one, as it should. I love this artist. I honestly love Loik. I think Loik is probably one of the most insanely talented artists there is today. Like, he's so talented. His choreography, his dancing, his music. Like, what he can do is absolutely incredible. I have not heard a piece... Not one piece of music from this man that I haven't loved. I think he is so damn good. I honestly think he's so damn good. Love, 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 love this man. Anyway, brilliant uh, um, um, reaction request. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.